we're in a season of intense warfare and witches monitoring spirits all these demonic forces have been unleashed i'm telling you this is not the time to play with your walk with god so i want to share with you an encounter that i had yesterday okay and this is something that i'm like wow this is crazy so i usually have my prayers at midnight at the church um but before i prayed like i've been experiencing a lot of warfare this past month it's been crazy and I'm like, God, what is going on? Now, I want to encourage you, if you don't have a dream life, God speaks to you through your dreams. I want you to listen to me. I pray that you're going to get that dream life activated. Because anytime that there is demonic activity when it's heightened in my life, the way that I know what to do, what's going on is through dreams. So anyway, yesterday before I went to, um, to church to pray, I said, Holy Spirit, I need you to show me what is going on. The warfare, this is like, you know, it's, it's a different type. So as I, I, I lay down, um, I think it was like around nine o'clock or so. I'm like, let me just get a quick nap or something. Nine, nine thirty around that time. I'm like, let me just sleep for a few minutes, Lord. Holy Spirit, show me what's going on so I can and tell me what to do. I went to sleep. I had this dream. I was in an, an apartment building, like, you know, like uh, those high rise buildings, right? It was probably maybe three or four floors or something like that. And I was almost at the very top. And I'm inside of this house, this apartment building. Um, the house had a balcony to the left of it, outside of it. And I'm in there. And this men, a group of men that I had never seen in my life. I don't really recognize any of them. One of them had on, um, one of them had on a black and white suit. Like if you've seen um, Men in Black or The Matrix, right? Um, and he was slim. So he had, had the black and white suit on and he had on like dark glasses that you couldn't see his eyes. But he came with a bunch of other people and they came to me and they were saying like, you know what? You have something that we need to get from you. You've been hiding it. Where are you hiding it? And I'm like, what are you talking about? They said, no, you have something that you're hiding. We need to get it. And I'm like, so we, I took them. They walked in the closet. They're like, you know, is it in the closet there? I'm like, what are you talking about? So they came back in the in, in, in the living room. When they came in the living room, I had, I think it was some kids with me. I'm not sure if it were my kids, but I know it's like a, a couple of kids or something like that. Little boys there that, that was there with me. Um, I have I have um, three boys, but this kids were there with me. And the, this guy, he was the leader. He took out a needle, a long needle, probably almost uh, eight inches long, right? And the needle was sharp on both ends. He had clear liquid inside of it. When you go to the hospital to get shots, right? It was something like that, but it was it was both ends were sharp. So he stretched out his right arm because his left arm was facing. He stretched out his right arm and said, if you don't give that thing to me, I'm going to hurt one of the kids. And he, he stretched the needle towards him like, give it to me now. And I'm standing there. And I'm like, what is, I, he had glasses on, so dark, dark glasses. I couldn't see his eyes or anything. Um, but he was just slim, he was slim. So I'm standing there and I'm thinking like, what in the world is going on? So he turned away, he had the needle, stre needle stretched out. So he turned away for a second, right? And in the dream, I reached out and I grabbed that needle out of his hand and I stabbed him on his neck, the left side of his neck, because that's the arm that was facing. When I stabbed him up out of his neck, I looked outside of the window by the balcony and uh, from the balcony, and I saw a bunch of different people. Um, they were look they different sizes, different shapes, but they were just walking around, right? And the second that I stabbed this man with that needle. When I looked down, when I looked outside, every person reached out. They had a needle in their hand, and this started to stab them, um, their neck, and this started to manifest. If you've ever seen a zombie movie where you see a bunch of people just manifesting, and I looked outside, literally, I saw people all over, a bunch of people I never seen them before. They were stabbing themselves and manifesting, and some were screaming, were shouting this was like out of a movie and i'm standing up there and the leader was manifesting as well and 
once that happened, all of a sudden the dream just ended. And I knew that God was saying to me, and not that dream is not just for me. If you've been going through severe warfare, there have been some witches and monitoring spirits that have been tracking you. They have been tracking you because they see that God is doing something amazing. God is about to blow things out the water for you. And because in the realm of the spirit, listen, demons can sense when God is about to do something. They don't know. Because anytime that the presence of God is all over you, they're attracted to that. The Bible said that when Jesus was led to fast at the 40 days and 40 nights, you would think that after getting so much power that demons would not want to come around. But that is when Satan came to him. So if you've been fasting or you've been praying or you've been going through spiritual warfare, I want to let you know that your prayers are working. Because those demons, they recognize that you carry something that they want to get from you, but they can't take that from you. And once they started to manifest, it was just a wake up call again. You can't look. This is not the season for you to pray. I mean, to play around with your prayer life. You got to pray hard. You got to get back to warfare because the devil is not playing. The enemy, there is so much witchcraft activity that's going on right now. And any time that you are or we're in an election year, the intensity of the witchcraft is going to get to another level. So you got to pray. You got to warfare. I, I challenge you and I encourage you to start praying at midnight for the rest of this year. Get up at midnight to pray because there are forces that are coming up against you. Pray that God is going to open up your spiritual eyes for you to see what is going on. Look, I know a lot of people don't dream. And for those that have dreams, a lot of times they ignore the dreams. But I pray that you will. I mean, you got to get your dream life activated because when I'm traveling, let's say I'm in an airplane. I need to know who's sitting next to me, what their agenda is, if they have any, what their plans are. Or if, if, if I'm around certain people, I take naps when I need to know what's going on. So there are times that I could take a short nap for five minutes and I can see, I can, I can scan in the spirit realm who is around me, why they're there, what their plans are and what I need to do and how I need to pray. So I challenge you, man, like you, you got to stop playing with the Lord. You got to stop playing with them because these witches, these warlocks, these demons, they are not playing around at all. And that's not the first time that I'm, I'm having an encounter like that. But I just wanted to share this one with you because I know in this season, in an election year, the warfare is going to be heightened. It's going to increase more. So you got to increase your prayer life, right? Um, and there's no reason for you to be afraid of those demons. You know, people say stuff like, you know, higher levels, higher demons. But what they don't what they don't mention is that higher levels, higher ranking angels. God is releasing higher ranking angels that will outrank any demon that can come come against you in your family. But you got to release them through your prayer. You release them by spending time in the presence of the Lord. So I pray that you take this word seriously. You get back in your prayer closet, your midnight prayers, and God is giving the victory. I'm praying for you. I love you and stay encouraged.